Hi everyone, welcome to The Loop, July 2023. Now you guys should know us by now, but if you don't, my name is Peter, I'm a product manager here at Property Me, and I'm joined as always by... Christina, hello guys. <laughs> <laughs> welcome guys, we've got a brand new release going out tonight that is going to include tasks with checklists and templates. Super excited to take you guys through that today. Plus, we're also gonna revisit our uh, rental payment platform, MePay. As always, whether you're watching us from Facebook or YouTube, questions, comments, leave them down below and we'll do our best to get through all of them in today's session. There's a lot to go through today. Uh, we also have a very exciting competition for mm -hmm. all of our viewers, so stay tuned. So yep. we'll release a bit more info a little bit later. But first up, I'm going to take you through our brand new feature. We did a little bit of a teaser with, Ta month. with Tatiana in the last session for tasks, checklists and templates. Uh, and it's going out tonight, so it'll be ready for you guys tomorrow. Awesome. Play the video. So guys, that's our task templates and checklist feature that is going out tonight. The feedback that we got last month when we gave you guys a preview has been absolutely amazing. You guys are super excited. Yeah. Doesn't matter if you're a property manager, in admin, sales, BDM, leasing, mm -hmm. um, director, anyone, account, anyone um, it's very flexible and very, very cool. You're the task queen today, yeah? You're gonna take us through. I love a good checklist, so I'm definitely gonna take you through, but I'm gonna actually give you a bit of a task as well. Oh, so sharing. <laughs> An easy one, okay. sharing, jumping into my screen. So uh, first I'm gonna start with a um, couple of changes to our task, our known and loved tasks feature. So you'll now notice we've got a couple of new tabs, to do, in progress and pending. All of these tabs have filtering options so you know exactly um, where to prioritize your time and yeah. what needs to be, what needs the most focus. Um, my very favorite is the priority. So every task has a priority now, which I love. So if I just need to filter to say what is a very high priority for me to complete um, this week, I can just or today or today You're I can apply a couple of filters <laughs> and I know that I've got a tribunal prep um, I can also filter with the search field um, we've got our you know traditional options in regards to the little uh, triggers up here which is awesome uh, I think even just even just the uh, updates that we've done here are going to be really useful for you guys. And remind everyone, Christina, who is this available for? So these features are available for all of our users. So if you're on basic, standard, standard or premium, premium, everyone can use this you feature. You get that new look task okay. with those new tabs running across the screen Beautiful. with the priority. With the priority as well. Um, very exciting to introduce templates. So think about um, all of your go-to standard kind of templates that you create as tasks all the time. The recurring so, ones. Recurring ones, really standard stuff. So um, we've got a couple of examples that we'll share with you today. A couple of really good ones, renewals, loss managements, uh, move, tenant moving out, pet that application. Is a good, 
list. Take a screenshot. Take a screenshot <laughs> and please share your own. Um, I'm sure we all have the the checklist, whether you're using Trello or you know something on every office Word is doc. Every as well. every uh, property managers love a good checklist. Yeah. Uh, but these are templates. So um, I've already kind of pre-made one, but they're really really easy to make. So uh, if you have admin or standard. Um, uh, permissions in property me you guys can create a template um, but all users can actually see the templates, templates and cool. use them <coughs> um, so jumping in to my little one that I've just created all I've done um, I've just called it pet application um, <laughs> of course we, you have this well, it's reoccurring there's a little <laughs> description field if you need one but on top of this template I'm also going to add a checklist so checklist really easy I can add up to 50 line items which I hope you don't have any tasks that are up to 50 line items um, but we might just uh, give this one a go so checklist I'll go review application and then seek owner approval and then ask strata so it's all and the items that you need to action notes, against the task. Things. Yeah, and if I'm not happy with that order, I've got heaps of flexibility here as well. So this is my standard. Um, it might look a little, you can beef it up, you can add whatever you like here, but I can edit, I can delete, and I can also move. So if I need to make notes first or save the pet application in the task or whatever your filing system is, then um, you can actually move it around. So I'm when- obsessed with how easy it just so moves easy. up and yeah. slots in. And you can delete as well. So if that is your standard office process, <laughs> I'm happy with that. I'm gonna hit save straight away. And now I'm going to give you a new task. So adding a new task, I can select that template. So I've just had a pet application for this property. Um, Peter, you can deal with it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, due next week, the priority I can set to say low, um, and I've then got the option to open it. You might want, you might say this, this isn't a strata property, right? So mm. I don't need to ask strata, I can get rid of that Jump one there. Jump in straight away. Jump in and edit it, yeah. which is really easy peasy. What do you think? Cool, love it. Um, you can also add, without a template, you can also do checklists on the fly as well. So if you've got a process that's not really cookie cutter, um, like insurance or something yeah. like that yeah. where there's a lot of moving pieces and it's not always step one step two step three you can just add a task without choosing a template um see if i actually i'll just whip right. one and up then quickly just create yeah. the list of items that you need to correct to action yeah so if i open this one here i can just on the fly create my checklist um, and what I really, really love, because sharing is caring, and I know a lot of you guys work in teams as well. Oh, it's teams, um, yeah. If I'm doing half of this, and then it's over to you to do, you know, the admin and the calls, the follow-ups, the filing, whatever, yeah. um, I can just tick where I'm up to, and it's time stamp, uh, it's date stamped and time stamped with who's you done can it see as well. Who's checked it off? So so love easy. That. Yeah, and same thing if uh, needs a revision or whatnot. So. I reckon huddle with the team, take all of your kind of set processes that you have, chuck them in as templates, start to create those checklists as well. We know you have them. Um, pop them all in one spot into Property Me. Um, remember this feature is available for our premium and our standard plan users. So if you're not already um, on those upgrade plans, today. upgrade today. Cool. Cool, so that's what we've got going out tonight for tasks, templates and checklists. Um, any questions or comments coming through? Let's have jump a look. in and have a look. Um, someone, uh, Gadita Maymay has said, are these tabs already available? I don't see them on my end. So with the releases going out this evening, so tomorrow when you guys come in, check tomorrow out that morning. green banner, click on the release notes and you'll see exactly what has been included in this month's release. Oh Plus, guys, you're getting lots of love. Yeah, Thanks. lots of love. Donna, oh, I'm so bad with names, I'm so sorry. Donna Bauer, this is the best news, was my most hated thing when we switched from console. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Thanks, Donna. Um, thank you, Nina Sutton. This is the absolute best game changer. Well done, Property Me. Thanks, Nina. Let's see if we've got any questions coming through as well. 
So can you make a lease renewal? Let me open this one up a little bit better. Mm. Jessica has asked, can you make a lease renewal task reoccurring? So you can set up the uh, task template and then go ahead and create a task every time you've got one with uh, just filtering by the due date in that case. So not so much the task, but you could essentially move it forward. You can use the same task and just adjust the due date. Yeah. Uh, so it'll pop up um, you know, 60 days before renewal or whenever you uh, normally would process your renewals. Love it. Cool, so guys, keep putting your comments and questions, but we might move on. We'll circle back if any new ones come through. Um, but next up, we're so excited to start the financial year off with uh, revisiting MePay. So we've got something really exciting. Again, I don't think we can say it just yet, but wait maybe a couple of minutes and then we'll give you all the details about our <laughs> upcoming um, competition. Uh, but if you haven't heard of MePay, first of all, where have you been? Second of all, let's roll the clip and give everyone an update on what MePay is. 1.7 million tenants can now make all their rental payments through Property Me Mobile and Desktop with MePay. You'll never chase arrears that have already been paid with instant alerts and real-time arrears updates. Payments are labelled, organised and processed even when the office is closed. Tenants are automatically reminded about auto payments. Plus, there are no hidden fees. Share it with your tenants today. So guys, that's a quick little look at MePay, but we've actually got a demo set up to take you guys through both the tenant experience and the agent experience so you can see full circle what MePay can actually do. I'm gonna put my tenant hat on now. I am, thank you. We should you. get that, oh, we should get no, an actual hat. No, thank you. <laughs> I am Mary today at 87 Bay Street. So jumping onto my phone, I'm gonna just show you how easy it is um, to set up automatic payments. So, so this is for tenants to register to start tenants using. Tenants to register to start cool. using it. Yeah. So I've got my tenant app already uploaded. Sorry, I installed. I go into set up payments. A couple of really basic inf uh, contact information. Prefills the first and last. Prefills a little bit of as well, which is great. A uh, bunch of information. Let me just chuck in a quick account name. Um, so put Mary. Yes. Uh, at BSB. Let's go with zero one two. Three, four, five, mm -hmm. and the account number one zero zero yeah zero zero, so four zeros. Yep, one. <laughs> okay, so guys, cool. this is not a real bank account. No, number. it's not. <laughs> um, okay, I've also got my me pay providence dis disclosure statement as well that I can have a little look at, yep. and when I'm happy, I can confirm my details. So I've got an option to set up straight away automatic payments, or I can do that later and just regulate my payments whenever I get paid or whenever yeah. my due date is, but I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, and in my case, I don't want to worry about it. I just want direct debit for both rent, set and forget, invoices, rent invoices. Take it. I don't want to be in arrears or bother with it. So I'll yeah. confirm rent and invoices. So that's all done now. And I'm then going to show you how simple it is to make a payment. So first of all, that was setting up the payment schedule. So yep. that's all the tenants have to do Couple in order clicks. for rent and invoices to come out when they're due. Yep. And now what we're going to do is we'll take you through um, the ad hoc experience. So if tenants want to jump into the tenant mobile app and just make a one-off payment whenever they like, this is the process that they'll follow. Thank you. So I'm in my app, make a payment. And here I can pay my $500 in full. I get a bit of a summary, which is great. And I get the period as well. So I'm, I know exactly what I'm paying for. Do you want to, just before you hit that review payment, do you want to hit, if you guys can see that ad holding deposit section, mm -hmm. which is quite new as well. So if you've got tenants that you want to um, pay a holding deposit using MePay, they've now got that functionality as well. Yeah, or tenants that like to pay in advance for like a water or, you know, um, if they're putting yeah. money aside for a rainy day. Um, so I can pop that into holding deposits as well, which is really, really easy. Um, now, 500 bucks, I get a summary, I can review my payment, and that gives me a really nice view, still a bit of an option to edit if I need to. Yeah. Go ahead and pay that now. 
and there you go. I've Boom. got a um, I got a little receipt. Um, I also get a reminder if I do have automated payments. You'll get a reminder before it's due, so you can jump in and actually make sure you've got enough money in the bank too. Yeah, really transparent, which is cool. Okay, that's done. So over to your side. Love it. So now we take the tenant hat off, put the property manager hat on. Um, so now we'll take you through the agent experience. So that uh, payment that Mary just made, I'm just going to open up Mary's property if I can see my mouse. And I can't. Hold my on mouse. a second. I can't see my <laughs> mouse. <laughs> Technical difficulties. That's right. Oh, we're back. We're back. Here we go. Okay, sorry guys. So I'm just going to open up Mary's property. Um, she's at 87 Bay Street. Now you can see in real time, Christina, or AKA Mary, Mary, just initiated that $500 payment. So whilst you're on the property, you can see that that $500 is sitting there as a pending me pay transaction. Now what's so cool about this is that it updates the tenants pay to date in real time. So this makes such a difference when you guys are doing your arrears management. I used to have it all the time. I would call tenants and say, hey, your rent's four days behind. And they said, well, I paid two days ago. But because you've got no visibility of that transaction until it actually hits your trust, it's out in limbo. Whereas with MePay, straight away we update the pay to date. Um, you can take it a step further, open up the pending widget and you can see a list of all the transactions that that tenant has initiated through MePay, the dates and times. But what I love is the payment schedule. So you can jump in and you can see which tenants are manually jumping in and making payments or which ones have actually set up that automation. I'm a big fan of the automation. I think it's about 60% Last mm -hmm. time we checked of tenants that are using MePay that have actually set up the automatic schedule. So set it up, set and forget, and the money just comes out when it's due. One of the things that I also love about MePay is how easy the receipting part is. So over on my transaction screen, I'm gonna to go to the MePay button. And from here, you can see a list of every single MePay transaction that belongs to your portfolio and what the status of that payment is. So the one at the very top of the list is Mary's payment that she just made for the $500 and it's sitting in there as pending. So it's gonna sit in there as pending until the funds have cleared and then we're gonna send the funds to your trust account so you can actually receive the money. So the two underneath are some transactions that a couple of my other tenants made um, earlier. What happens is these have cleared, we've put them in a batch file and we've sent them across to the trust account. So you can see that batch sitting just in your batch transfers just here. You can drill down and have a look and see which transactions actually make up the batch. But when the money actually hits your trust account and you import your transaction file, look how easy this is. Over on the left, we've got that MePay item with the $3,550. We can see it's linked to two tenants, so two payments. Click of a button, you process, and those receipts are All in bulk. put through. Bulk. Yeah. Love it. Love, love, love. The receiving part for me is just game changer. No more tenants sending money to your trust account saying rent or um, you know using wrong um, reference numbers. None of that anymore. Time and of receiving, especially if, the, mm. if you've got um, water coming in or other invoices, holding fees, whatever it might be. Yeah. Um, one click of a button to receive everything in bulk. Yeah. If you look at your trust account, statement and you've just got a couple of items in there with big bulk payments much easier to look at than five pages of time five hundred well. seven hundred yeah. Yeah, yeah that's great yeah. we've actually got a case study so from the team at agents and co in maroubra i think they were beta customers yes hi Eleni. Ago, which is cool uh, so let's have a look how they've implemented me pay and uh, uh put it across their portfolio roll it My name is Eleni Romanis. I've been in real estate now for over 25 years. Uh, my family is in real estate. We've been in Maroubra for the past eight years, previously as a franchise brand and now as Agents & Co for the last two years. We've been heavily focusing on property management and the growth of our rent roll and our portfolio. We look at customer service as our main focus. We over-service in a sense so that we can get that referral business and the repeat clients. Maroubra Junction is a hub. 
We've got students, we've got young families, we've got a lot of schools around here. Because we're a coastal suburb, we have a lot of the beachside lifestyle, higher end properties. But then we also have a really, really huge student market, which comes from the University of New South Wales. And so it is a melting pot of a lot of different demographics. My name's Tegan and I'm Head of Property Management Department at Agents & Co. We rolled out MePay to our whole portfolio by doing an email blast. We offered to help tenants come into the office to, if they needed any assistance whatsoever. Majority of them didn't need any at all, that's how easy it was to use. I first heard about the Property Me app through my property manager. He sent me an invite and it was really easy to set up. I pay my rent and deal with my maintenance issues directly through there. We've had a really, really good uptake with the app and with MePay. We had about 40% of our tenants using MePay just after the first month. So the process for setting up new tenants on MePay is after we give them a call with the good news that they've been approved for a new property, we send them an email with the instructions on how to download the app. It's easier for them as well because they can access all their maintenance repairs, where they paid up to, all the rental payments and everything. In property management, there's so much compliance and regulations and that's ever increasing. So we just needed to really simplify what we could so that we could focus on what we need to do. And that's where me pays a no-brainer. Adjusting to me pay for my role is super simple, super easy and excellent and saves me so much time in the process. Um, it is literally one click and all my payments are done. If you're considering the MePay app, I would say absolutely go for it. There's no reason not to. It's free, it's easy to explain to people. They can have a direct debit, they can do manual payments. It's all tied together, your repairs and maintenance, their ledgers, their documents, everything is in one place. Thanks. Thanks again, Eleni and the team out at Agents & Co in Maroubra. Some great implementation tips there. And amazing. Um, so we've had a bunch of new customers join over end of financial year. Welcome, mm -hmm. guys. If you're learning new processes and learning new features and you've got new staff or whatnot and you just wanted to see and trial me pay, say, with a couple of tenants, what would you suggest? So I've had a lot of conversations about MePay with some of our clients and some of them have been a little bit hesitant. There's a bit of a stigma on, oh, I don't want to disrupt the tenants. I don't want to yeah. you know, give them a new payment method and then everyone freaks out and no one knows what's going on and tenants are calling and it's, it's mayhem. But with MePay, it's so simple. Um, and the good thing is that you don't have to turn it on and then message every single tenant all in the one go. I've had offices where we'll turn on MePay and then they'll stagger the release. So um, I've had some where they're only signing up new tenants it's a good from MePay. Yep. Yep. Or I've had some where, um, you know, it's a big portfolio, 2,000 properties, and they're doing one property manager at a time. So the great thing is you turn it on um, in your settings, and then from there, we've got a message template. So you can filter down your views and just select which tenants you want to send that email out to say, hey, there's a new payment system for you guys to use. Something else to keep in mind as well is you don't have to be exclusively with MePay. So if you've got people paying into your trust or other payment gateways, you can still turn this on and even offer it as an alternative payment method for your tenants. It's free for them to use, so why not? Why not? Yeah. Um, and like Peter said, it's, it is 60. It's over 60% of customers have actually, uh, your, your tenants have actually signed up for automatic payments, which is, which is great yeah. as well. So um, when we talk about tenant benefits, apart from set and forget, yeah. um, you've got real time knowing where you're paid up to. Yeah. You can see that summary um, as you go. You get reminders before it's due. So if you've set it up automatically, you get a reminder before it's due. Have hey, a little look just the money's to make sure out on that it's coming out. Yeah. Exactly. There's no transaction charge from MePay. So again, another good free option there. Yeah. And you can pay rent, invoices, and put it uh, pay by deposit now, which is a new um, an update that we had re recently as well. Yeah, what we showed you before, just on that tenant app where you could, um, you've got that holding deposit section where tenants mm -hmm. can select and then pop in an amount for it to go to their holding deposit section. Nice. I'll see if we've got any questions. Please keep them coming. I know we've got a lot of comments coming through, which is fantastic. Uh, let's have, actually, there's some more comments with tasks as well. Um, a new tasks would be the, tasks the hero. Tasks, very popular. <laughs> 
Uh, Lena, I love your comment. Sweet baby Jesus, this is the best. We can be completely <laughs> paperless and all um, in one place now. Love that. Um, let's have a little look here. Natalie has asked, is there any way to lock a template so the team can't delete the items? Um, so only admin and standard users can actually create and edit templates. So if you've got a couple of rogue property managers or assistants that have just joined you and love to put their own spin on things like templates and whatnot, have a look at their user permissions and see we've got a really good guide in terms of what they cannot and cannot share, what they can and cannot change as well. Uh, Beck has asked, can we write emails and letters from the task or do we need to go back to the folio and save it manually? So stay tuned for right, right now we can't send messages throughout the task. And let's see how we're good. A um, couple of more questions in regards to access levels. So with our new uh, feature, we'll have knowledge base articles attached and we'll go through a bit of a, um, a guide in terms of who can um, actually make changes. We'll have um, some live training sessions mm -hmm. as well with our trainer, Scott, yep. down the track as well. All right, beautiful. Let's have a look. There's a lot coming in, bear with me. There's a lot coming in, yeah. <laughs> Well, maybe whilst we're going through those questions, we might move on to, oh. Oh, is it time? I think it's time. I love that. This is okay. Christina's, she's most excited about this. I'm meet excited about everything, but it's competition time. So we <laughs> get, excited. get excited. Get <laughs> excited. Um, play a little video and we'll tell you as much as we can for now. When we come back. <laughs> chance to win three thousand dollars and all you need to do is register for me pay and have one tenant make a payment yes so you got to register before end of october this year yep. and at least have one me pay transaction processed as well yep. um, and get really really creative so you guys can actually submit something that's 20 up to 20 uh 2500 uh, sorry 250, 250 words, words um, and um, ask for what you want. So there's a, there's heaps of good options you can pick for. So it's three thousand dollars experience, yep. um, or you could do team a retreat, retreat, escape, team activity, yeah, something really fun. Um, maybe the most you know better chance if it's really creative. I know my onboarding crew would hate if I got to pick because you know I'd go to Tasmania and brush the fluffy cows. Oh that would be my experience. The fluffy um, cows. What okay. would you pick? Me. Um, well, I don't want to give away. Okay. Any. Okay. Um, don't share. Don't share. Yeah. Don't your post ideas in the comments because you remember wanna... you got to register to get in. Look, for me, it would. Oh no, we don't have the bridge behind it. It's for me the Harbour Bridge climb. Always wanted bridge to do climb. it. I reckon that would be an amazing team bonding experience. That would be my pick. Wine so tasting is also a nice team bonding experience. Yes, but I'll need more than $3,000 for, <laughs> for wine tasting. Uh, so we're going to have a bit more information on today's link as well. And uh, look out for uh, at our socials in the next couple of days too. Yeah. All of the info will be posted on there. Yeah. Um, please register. Facebook, Instagram. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Cool. That's right. Um, let's have a look what else we go. Okay, so recap time. If there's no more questions at this stage, um, everybody that, so if you are um, on standard or premium, you can start to use your, your templates checklist. and checklist from tomorrow. Um, but all of our users will have access to um, the new features that we have with our priorities and filters and different tabs in tasks as well. So please um, use it. Look yeah. out for the banner as Peter mentioned. Um, and it's a really great time to 
catch up with it as a team. So everything that you've got stored externally with your checklist, um, have a look at your, maybe it's time, you know, financial year's done now, right? So maybe it's time to have a look at your internal processes, um, work out a standard, um, maybe you have a few, maybe there's heaps You get really, get really, really creative yeah. um, and start to implement them. It doesn't take long as you, as you go sore. Um, yeah. And works the same with, um, so if you've, uh, we were just talking earlier in regards to, you know, trust accountants, you could have a checklist for audit time, because I know that's coming up really soon. Um, BDMs, you could have, um, you know, a t checklist for new managements and your process there. Um, there's limitless. There's a lot. There's a lot. Also, if you've been in two minds about upgrading from basic to standard or premium, now is the time. So from tomorrow, if you're on standard or premium, you will get the checklists and templates. So yep. upgrade today, you get inbound SMS, insights, Stings. automation, can't even keep up with how many good features there are under our standard and premium plans. Um, also, if you want more information on MePay, just head to the help widget whilst you're in Property Me in that bottom left hand corner, reach out to the support team. We've got fortnightly sessions on mm -hmm. MePay. That's Trainer Scott's got. running live MePay sessions. And yep. actually there's one this week on Thursday, Thursday. which is in two days time um, at three o'clock. I Tune think in. we'll post a link for that down below in the comments. So if you're interested to hear more about MePay and get a full demo of end to end, register for the session for Thursday. Amazing. Well, guys, you're in the loop. Cool. Bye, everyone. Thanks all. Bye-bye.